Well, guys, it happened. Uh, something that Michigan fans did not want to happen. Um, Michigan head coach Jim Harbaugh is leaving Michigan. Uh, he has accepted to become the new head coach of the Los Angeles Chargers in the NFL. And um, it sucks. I'm not going to lie. It, it sucks. And um, I'm glad, you know, hey, we won the national championship, as you can see from this hat, as you can see from this shirt. Um, Michigan won the national championship this past season with Jim Harbaugh. And, and I knew, I knew. That Michigan was not going to be as good in 2024. I'm not going to sit here and act like that um, we were going to be uh, contenders for a national title again next year. Um, if we, if this was last year and Michigan did win the national championship, I would say I think Michigan can compete to go back to back in 2023. But that didn't happen. And this year I'm going to tell you, I by no means think that Michigan, I don't even think Michigan is going to make the Big Ten Championship game uh, next season. Um, so many players are leaving. I mean, the reason why um, our defense is so good, all those players, and like so many players on the defense is leaving. And But that happens. They're all seniors or they're all just, just choosing to leave early. And J.J. McCarthy is gone. Blake Horam is gone. Roman Wilson is gone. Mike Sainer still is gone. Um, so many more. I, like uh, Michael Barrett's gone. A lot of our old lines gone. Like Zach Zinter, Trevor Keegan, Trent Jones. Uh, so many players are leaving for the NFL next season. But anyway, it still it, it still sucks. Um, J Jim Harbaugh. Um, I have been following Michigan. Like, just die hard since 2017. And um, and Jim Harbaugh has been so far, like, what, ever since I started watching Michigan consistently every single game, Jim Harbaugh has, like, been the, our only head coach. I'm not going to count the, uh, just those coach, like, time in 2023 when he was suspended. Jim Harbaugh was our head coach. And all those years, this is going to be the first year, 2024 will be the first year I watch Michigan football consistently that Jim Harbaugh's not our head coach, and man, it feels weird. And I did not want him to leave. I truly did not want him to leave, but <sighs> we knew it was gonna happen. I mean, we kind of—he's kind of been hinting at this for the past few years, and he won't tell you. He his he wants to win a Super Bowl more than anything. Yeah, not, winning a national championship with his alma mater was cool, but he wants to win a Super Bowl. That's his number one thing. That he wants to do. He was he went to the Super Bowl back in 2012. He went to Super Bowl 47, but he lost to his older brother John and the Baltimore Ravens. And then it's like, <laughs> and I quote, I'm gonna quote um, a college football YouTuber I really like, Uncle Lou. I mean, he said it best. He said, "There's only two people that hate Michigan. It's Ohio State fans and Jim Harbaugh." And the reason why is because the past few years, Jim Harbaugh has always act, been acting like that he's going to leave. And if you did not dislike where you were, you would not be trying to leave. And it makes me think that Jim Harbaugh got to a point where he didn't like being at Michigan anymore. And I think the NCAA um, violations that Michigan did is a big reason why Jim left. And uh, he doesn't want – he and he's – because I think he's worried that – He's he's basically admitting to what Michigan did um when they, for the whole sign stealing stuff because he's all worried that if he stays at Michigan he's gonna get fired, and that tells me that he's basically admitting that yeah we did do the sign stealing stuff. If you're worried about being fired because if you didn't do it you wouldn't be worried about it because he basically said if I am gonna stay at Michigan I want you to guarantee that I am not going to be fired based on the NCAA violations. That basically tells me, yeah, he's admitting that they did it. So he's trying to go to the NFL so he can't get be fired for a non, uh, for a non on the field reason. And I don't think they would have fired him, but I don't know. But it sucks that Jim left. He was such like a really good coach. Um, obviously 2015 to 2020, Michigan was like 2015 to 2019, Michigan was just like, 
not elite. They were just good. Like 2015, hey, the Michigan fans were happy about 2015. They went 10 and 3. Uh, they were five games better from the previous year in 2014 when they went five and seven, and they won a bowl game. <coughs> um, and then after that, <laughs> Michigan just couldn't win a bowl game. 2016, 10 and three, lost to Florida State. 2017, eight and five, lost South Carolina. 2018, 10 and three, lost to Florida. 2019, eight, nine and four, lost to Alabama. Then you go to 2020. Michigan was terrible. Michigan sucked in 2020. They went two and four. Uh, they, didn't, they only played six games because after their sixth game is Penn State, a COVID outbreak happened on campus, and they had to cancel their last three games. And then Michigan fans, after 2020, were asking Michigan to fire Jim Harbaugh. They're saying, look, we can't take it anymore. It's been six years at this point, and all we've done is can't beat Ohio State, can't win a bowl game. Uh, we can't beat these good ranked teams, no matter where the game is played, at home, on the road, um, doesn't matter. Then 2021 comes. Um, they take, he takes Michigan's like, okay, look, we're not going to fire you, but we're going to give you a pay cut because of, you know, your performance last year. And then they just completely turn things around. They go 11-1. They finally beat Ohio State. They win the Big Ten Championship, but they fall short to Georgia in the Orange Bowl in the playoffs. Uh, the next season, they do better. They go undefeated, 12-0. They beat Ohio State again. They win the Big Ten again, but they fall short in the playoffs to TCU in the Fiesta Bowl. And then you go to 2023. There's like, okay, like almost 80% of the players that played 2022 are coming back for 2023. If there's any year... Or Michigan can win a national championship. It's this year, 2023. And Michigan did exactly that. 12-0, they beat Ohio State again. They win the Big Ten again. This time, they actually win their bowl game. They beat Alabama in the Rose Bowl. And then they beat Washington in the national championship game. Michigan is the first Big Ten team in history to have a 15-0 season. Not even Ohio State could do it. In, their, in Ohio State's year when they won the Natty in, two, in 2014, they still lost a regular season game to Virginia Tech, if anyone remembers that. And um, well, now, the question now, who will Michigan hire as their next head coach? I, my personal opinion, I want them to promote Sharon more. Um, I don't really want them to hire... Anybody outside of Michigan, I don't really see the need to. Um, Sharon Moore coached four games last season. And two of those four were against top ten teams. And Michigan won those games. Sharon Moore has proven that he can be a head coach, in my opinion. I think that they should just go with him. I think they should go Sharon and say, look, you know, you were a head coach for us last year in some games. We thought you did a good job. Uh, we're going to promote you, and you're going to be our head coach next year. Because Sharon Moore wants to be a head coach, I think. And I thought, man, um, he might leave to be a head coach somewhere. Why not make him a head coach here? I think Sharon Moore will be a great pick for Michigan. Um, if not, I don't know who else they would go with, honestly. But... Um, We'll figure that out when the time comes. And uh, But for now, I just want to say um, thank you, Coach Harbaugh, for everything that you've done for Michigan. Um, it did, this past, these past three seasons have just been absolutely amazing as a Michigan fan. Uh, Michigan has gone, um, like what? They've gone 44-1 and one in the regular season since 2021. No, I'm st no, I'm stupid. They uh, twelve games and twelve and twelve, twenty four. They lost the game. They went thirty five and one in the regular season <coughs> since twenty twenty one. That one loss was on the road at Michigan State in twenty twenty one. The Michigan shouldn't have lost, but what are you gonna do? Um, M Jim Harbaugh has won Michigan three Big Ten titles, and they have won one national title. Um, Jim Harbaugh. The only thing he doesn't really have going for him is um. He has a losing record against Ohio State. Um, he's going to finish 3-5 and five against Ohio State. He did start 0-5, though, and he has won the last three. Actually, Harbaugh didn't coach the 2023 game against them. So would he be 2-5? and five? 
Uh, we wouldn't won even if he coached anyway. But um, and then he has a losing record in bowl games. The twenty fifth, he only won a bowl game in his first year at Michigan and in his last year at Michigan, and he lost everything in between. So, once again, thank you, Coach Harbaugh, for everything that you've done for Michigan. Like I said before, the past three seasons, 2021, 2022, and 2023, have all been amazing seasons to watch as a Michigan fan, something I've never experienced before, and I don't know when we're going to get that again. So, for all the Michigan fans watching this video, um, I really, really hope you enjoyed the last three seasons because... Next year, I feel like we're going to be back down to Michigan losing two or three regular season games a year again. But we'll see what happens. Um, thank you, Coach Harbaugh. Good luck with the Chargers in the NFL. Um, I know that he'll do a great job. He did a great job with San Francisco. And uh, we'll see what happens. But thanks, Coach Harbaugh. Good luck in the NFL.